All right, guys. So, did another run of Walmart today. Um, actually, I went to three WalMarts, but yeah, this is what we got. We got 120 pounds of rice, 16 pounds of pindos. Grab some more uh, ramen. These are actually the only beef ones that they had. My kids don't like the chicken ones. Um, and then the other two Walmarts were sold out of the beef. But, yeah, the rice. Um, I got two bags at each Walmart and stuff. Because they, they had like four on the shelf um, at each of the Walmarts. But, got some more sugar, mac and cheese, pasta. Stuff like that. I'll take this stuff out of the bags and spray it. And I'll be right back. Alright, guys. Got it all laid out here. <clears throat> they actually had a bunch of different kinds of beans this time. They had navies and great northerns and chickpeas. Um, we have one of baby limas and some black eye. Um, 15 pounds of elbows, man, a whole mess of seeds, but, uh, should pause the video right now and take a guess on how much I spent today. Um, but, yeah, these seeds, I mean, some of these say, like, $2.46. And, uh, I tried growing rosemary before, and they had, it would never grow. So maybe these would be easier. These ones say $2.46. These ones are $1.44. You know, these ones say $0.50. Cents. Um... They just had these in like a basket, and uh, they all rang up for uh, 20 cents. So, uh, the only really thing that they had left was some more cantaloupe, and then um, they had regular like uh, green beans and stuff. I thought I'd grab some green beans, but I guess I didn't. Um, but yeah, that was pretty good deal for the seeds. So easy ones. Kind of cool. Um, but yeah, I got some flints for my Zippos. I got 30 pounds of sugar. 15 pounds of elbows. Some more mac and cheese. And this is like spaghetti sauce. And, uh, spaghetti, or Spaghetti rings and meatballs, and then like for like pears and fruit cocktail. Um, we got 120 pounds of rice. And four pound, uh, four bags of brown sugar, so eight pounds. And then some of these other beans. Um, 16 pounds of pindos. A bunch more salt. I got. Half and half, half plain, half ionized, um, and two ramen noodles. But I ended up for everything. Like I've been wanting to spend like hundred dollars extra a week on stuff that we can put up, and I spent a hundred and sixteen dollars today on all this. Um, but, yeah, it's, I don't know about all this, I want to see the stuff on the news where those food banks are running out of food, and stuff like that, when people run out of food, they're going to get very angry very quick, so, we've been doing, like, um, $100 a week, 
extra. Oh, we also, yesterday, me and my wife went to the Safeway, and we got 75 pounds of hamburger. So it was on sale, and there was no limit. So we got 75 pounds of hamburger. And then, um, I think some pork butt roasts. A whole bunch of bacon. And, uh, we have a ton of chicken, so we didn't get no chicken, but... We're going to be good on hamburger for a while now. <clears throat> so, yeah, I just don't know what's going to go on. Like, if these plants shut down for like a month, you know, that lag time that they're shut down for is going to transfer over into the stores, is what I'm guessing. So, I figure might as well get some. And it was on sale too, so. Might as well get a bunch, but yeah, I've been trying to do $100 a week extra on the food and all that, but I don't know, stuff could get crazy pretty quick, um, you know, especially as I'm talking about reopening here. Like, people are going to get pissed if we have to shut down again. Um, I don't know if they will or not, but... I don't know. I'm not really worried about the virus. I'm more worried about the economic... Um, fallout from all of this. Um, you know, this stuff seems crazy. Like, all the unemployment and... Stuff like that, you know, in the stock markets. Stock market's the same as it was at this time last year. But we didn't have a pandemic going on. We didn't have 20-some million people unemployed. And we weren't on lockdown. You know, so something's got to give sometime. Like, market's got to correct or whatever. Like, it's still my life. It's not responding to, like, normally when there's bad news. You know, the stock market to go down and now it's like oh you know we got three million more unemployment you know it shoots up 700 points but once that money runs out that they've pumped into it i bet you it'll uh it'll go downhill and uh somebody at my wife's hospital was saying that they're expecting the market to go, to go down like 50 percent from you know what its peak was and stuff like that, but, I don't know, they keep printing all this money, you know, this stuff's gonna end up costing more, you know, just like the meat, um, you know, Walmart already did that with eggs, eggs went up two dollars for the five dozen box, but, I'm just wondering if the meat's gonna do that, if, uh, there's a shortage of it, and stuff like that, but, yeah, this is our haul. Um, I mean, you still couldn't get most stuff there. Like the rice, yeah, they had quite a bit. And then they had other beans and stuff. But these were the last sugars, the 10-pound sugars. They had the, they had the, I think it's four or five-pound bags. But these were the, I got one at each Walmart. Um, those were the last... Each one had one. So I got those at each one of the Walmarts. Um, the mac and cheese was pretty decimated. Um, especially, well, like, they had the craft, but, like, the great value shit. Um, I got two at two Walmarts, and then the last Walmart I went to only had one box, but... A lot of the stuff was still out. You couldn't get hand sanitizer or you know, toilet paper and stuff like that, but, you know, it's just like, like flour, they had flour there, but it was like a brand that I had never heard of, and it was like premium flour, so it was like, um, I think seven ninety eight for a five pound bag, and I was like thinking, damn man, the five pounds we do get, it's like a dollar ninety eight and stuff, but... So I didn't get no flour. Um, but yeah, some of the stuff, you know, like the canned food, you know, like the soup and 
stuff like that. It was pretty decimated, but um, the fruit, you can get it and stuff. Just, you know, might not be the stuff that you want, you know, like the pears or whatever that we got. Some of them are sugar-free and some of them are in heavy syrup. And stuff like that, but yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool with the rice. Like, um, I was tempted on buying all of it there, but yeah, I saved that for another day. It was uh, I, I thought I was gonna spend a lot more than a hundred, hundred bucks here and stuff, but yeah. That's our haul. Catch you later.